Welcome back to another Lost. Season 1 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important if you are caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Lost, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention, as well as put in the description if that happens to be the case. You find out that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And for all of you out there that are wondering, I've seen Lost a few times. My first experience was the show was watching it live. I started with season five of the show. My roommate at the time was a very big fan of Lost and he kind of clued me in some stuff on some stuff. Uh, of course I was lost with some things, but I, I liked the show and watched till the end and then went back and watched the other seasons of the show. And then in 2014, I rewatched the show and then in 2020, I rewatched the show. But I've never really done a deep dive like this, like taking my time. It's been more of a binge watch, binge watch real quick thing. So I wanted to do that to talk about the show. So with all that said, this will be Lost Season 1, Episode 5. The title of this episode is called White Rabbit. And this will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watching the episode. So we have a flashback of a very young... Jack Shepard and uh, he, some a kid is getting beat up and they're threatening to rough him up and I believe he gets punched at least but they really beat up another kid and uh, on the island uh, on real time Charlie gets Jack's attention uh, you know letting him know that someone's out there in the ocean uh, that's having a hard time like drowning uh, but he doesn't swim so he can't help him uh, so Jack swims out to them, uh, and he fi we find out it's Boone, and Jack saves him. And he tells Jack he went out there because there was a woman. And Jack hears this woman scream, Help! So Jack actually swims Boone to the close to the shore, and then turns back around to try and grab the woman. And Jack, unfortunately, was unable to save her. Uh, Kate tells Jack he tried. He says he didn't try. He at first decided not to go after her. Like at first he was gonna, but he like he didn't go after her right away when he could have. Um, but you know he thought he could bring Boone back and still have the time, but he decided not to go after her right away. And then Jack sees his father again. Okay, I guess spoiler alert: we don't know it's his father yet until later in the episode. But he sees a guy in a suit, uh, Christian Shepherd, and Jack asks Kate if she saw that. Kate asks Jack when was the last time he slept. Michael wonders who taught Walt his new toothpaste idea, and Walt says it was Sun, the Korean lady. Jin knows that Sun really needs water by looking at her lips. Sun mentions that they should try harder to communicate with the others. Sawyer calls Shannon's legs light sticks. That's a good one. Shannon asks how much uh, that he wants, as Sawyer has this uh, this uh, thing that will keep sand fleas. Uh, and uh, Shannon th throws the thing uh, back at Sawyer uh, due to his negotiation tactics. Uh, Claire's looking for a hairbrush. And uh, surprisingly enough, she's went through all this luggage and she can't find one hairbrush. You would figure someone would pack one, let alone a few. Uh, Claire is going to help Kate sort clothes. Claire asks Kate if she's a Gemini. And Kate's like, yeah, I, I am, uh, Clay Kate says. And there's only 18 bottles of water left. Hurley and Charlie, uh, well, Hurley and Charlie tell Jack this. And Jack doesn't want to decide anything. And then we have another flashback of Jack when he was a kid. And it's talking to his dad. And he asks uh, Jack if he wants to, or his father asks him if he wants to tell him uh, what happened with the, the fight thing. And Jack says, Mark got jumped, but they didn't jump him. And he tells Jack, you don't want to be the hero. You don't want to try and save everyone. When you fail, you just don't have what it takes. And then Boone asks Jack why he didn't leave him. He could have made it back to the shore. You were drowning. You appointed... You are the savior. Look at me! And then Jack sees his dad again. And then Jack runs after him. Uh, Jack's mom... Um, there's some words that I forgot here. 
wants oh Jack's mom she wants Jack to bring his father back and Jack says I can and she says you don't get to say I can after what you did uh, she says that he's in Australia currently and then Walt tells Kate that Claire fell down Charlie and Michael get Kate inside Charlie and Michael get Claire inside the tent but I put Kate anyway uh, Kate tells Claire to to wake up and then Claire does wake up Charlie says the the water's gone Someone stole it. Locke says he'll go look for the water in the jungle. He says he wants Kate and Saeed to stay back at the camp with the doctor gone. Jack screams, where are you? Uh, before the plane crash, Jack talks to hostel, hotel staff in Australia. His father was popping pills and drinking. They recommend that he talk to the police. And then Jack takes a tumble. Uh, this is in real time on the island and almost falls off a cliff. Locke is able to save Jack as he was falling from the branch that he was holding on to. Charlie goes back to check on Claire. She's been out a few, a couple hours. And then Charlie wonders why Locke packs 400 knives. Saeed asks where Sun got some water. Jin comes over and gets in Saeed's, Saeed's face. And Kate asks who gave this to you. And then Jim, Jin points at Sawyer. And Sawyer's looking at his uh, stash hidden in the jungle. And Kate tackles him. Kate tackled Sawyer. Kate's like 80 pounds. Okay, Kate's more than that. She's probably 110 pounds soaking wet. And uh, Sawyer says, it's about time. Where's the water, Kate says. And then Saeed pulls Sawyer off of Kate. And Sawyer says he doesn't have the water. He says, any, he says water doesn't have any value as he's an optimist and it will rain soon. Locke says the others are thirsty, hungry, and need someone to tell them what to do. But remember, Locke doesn't like to be told what to do. Don't tell me what I can't, or don't don't tell him what he can't do. So if you tell him what to do, just don't say anything that he can't do. Otherwise, he's going to say, don't tell me what I can't do. Anyway. And, uh, you know, Jack says uh, he'll fail. He doesn't have what it takes. Locke asks Jack, why is he out here? And Jack says he's uh, chasing someone. And Locke says, white rabbit? But he's not there. Locke says he's an ordinary man, but this place is different. It's special. And then Locke says he looked into the eye of the island, and what he saw is beautiful. He's going to find more water, Jack says. He'll go with. And Locke says, stay here. A leader can't lead until he knows where he's going. And then we're back to a Jack flashback, and Jack's at the morgue. And it turns out his dad, Christian Shepard, died. And Jack confirms that it is indeed his father. Jack cries a little bit. And then back to real time on the island. Jack actually finds a, a waterfall or lake. And then Jack also finds some dolls. So there's a lot of water. So people aren't going to go thirsty. And uh, Jack also finds some more wreckage from the plane. Including the casket that his father was in. So he was taking his casket to another place from this, this oceanic flight. And... Uh, Obviously, uh, you know, Jack tells the airport people uh, he needs to bury his father, and he was told he doesn't have the proper documents. And, uh, of course, when Jack opens this casket, there's nothing in there, so Jack gets mad and starts to destroy the casket. And it turns out that Boone had the water. Charlie wants to start a fight with him, and then Jack shows back up at the camp. Leave him alone! Jack says it's been six days, and we're still waiting for someone to come. What if they don't? We have to stop waiting. We need to start figuring things out. We need to figure out how we'll survive here. And then Jack says he found water. God knows how long we'll be here. But if we can't live together, we're going to die alone. And then we have Sun thanks Jin for getting her water earlier. And then Sawyer asks Boone, how does it feel? Taking my place on everybody's most hated list. Sucks, don't it? And then uh, Kate asks Jack, where were you today? Uh, just had a uh, few things to take care of. My father died in Sydney, and uh, Kate says, I'm sorry. And then Jack's like, yeah, I'm sorry too. And that's what ends this episode of Lost. So good stuff here. Really like this show. It's These characters are so good. Uh, all the characters on the show, for the most part, are really good characters. Like, there's not, When you talk about my least favorite characters on Lost, which obviously some of them have yet to be introduced yet, like the least favorite ones are still really good characters. It's a freaking amazing show. As far as this episode goes, I think it's a little bit more of a filler episode. I'm going to score it a 7.8 out of 10. And for Lost, the, obviously the focal point of the episode is Jack. 
Uh, I would say the standout characters in this particular episode, Jack, Kate has been a standout. Saeed, Charlie, and Sawyer, and I guess you got to say Locke as well. I mean, everybody did a good job in, in this episode, so uh, even Boone. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Lost and you want to help me with the YouTube algorithm, please don't forget to Hulk smash the like button. Otherwise, the smoke monster will come after you. Uh, and keep in mind, I cover a lot of stuff on this channel. Lost is not the only thing I cover. So if there's something else that you might be interested in and don't know about it, check out my playlist. I cover you know, UFC fight reactions, franchise ranking videos, but I also cover The Walking Dead, Dexter, Breaking Bad, Loose for a Shameless, Big Bang Theory, Game of Thrones. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've covered on the channel and check out those playlists. Share this video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Lost. What would you rate this episode and whom would be your standout characters of the episode? I know Jack and Kate probably dominate that list. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. And share your damn support. It'd be a personally special. And you never know what you're going to see on JDev TV.